school, and we have five quilts that we're presenting to them. We were going to give some to the nurse navigators, but they weren't able to come for several weeks we tried, so we'll have more for them later on probably. But in the meantime, we have five quilts for them. So would you come forward, please, and tell about your group and what you do in the community? And then we'll get you with that. Thank you. Hi. My name is Jackie Hill, and I'm a 13-year breast cancer survivor. Oh, wow. Um, this is comes up, and she's been <laughs> doing my platform. She's like, 22. 22. So it's all possible. And when I was diagnosed back in 2000, you know, I thought that, well, I'm going to die because I don't know anyone that has had breast cancer. And about that time, I was talking to Gwen, and she said, well, I was saying, here, you got to get your mammogram. Everybody needs to, you know, practice early detection. And she said, I do. I've had breast cancer. Yeah. And she was the first person that I met after I was diagnosed that had actually had it and was still alive. And then I went on to meet other women. In the course of doing this, we decided that there really were no services or support in North Omaha for breast cancer survivors who lived around here. So we decided well, we'll just start our own group. And that's what we did. We each found someone and they found someone else. And now we have about 20 to 30 women that attend our group, you know, once a month. We meet on Tuesdays at 5.30 at Salem Baptist Church. And um, we provide support and uh, advocacy sometimes. We go on appointments with uh, our, our, the people that we come in contact with. We provide food, gas, you know, accompany them to their treatments. Uh, anything that we can do to make their journey easier because we all know what it was like. Um, we share our stories about, you know, the chemotherapy, you know, I can't even imagine when I was bald because my hair just grows like that and you can see I have plenty of it. And, um, you know, people can see by our example that there's life after breast cancer. And that's why we started our group. Um, I was so, <laughs> I was feeling so down today because we're planning this um, event for Saturday, I mean Sunday, when we, we have like 96 breast cancer survivors mm -hmm. signed up wow. to come to an event we call the Celebration of Life that we started 13 years ago. And we, um, you know, it's a tiring thing to plan something like that. And so then I got the call, you know, that you want to you know, get these blankets. We pass out uh, to new, newly diagnosed women little bags that they can take to chemotherapy and, you know, like put a book in or their MP3 player or um, it has little hats in there for after their hair, you know, comes out and anything to give them comfort. But it's really important. I know when I was going through chemo, someone gave me a crocheted uh, lap blanket. But these are so nice and they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. And someone gave me one at some point and we gave it to uh, a lady that was going through chemotherapy. And she really, it makes all the difference in the world to them. To know that someone cares about them and has gone through the time to make something like this is just a comforting thing for them. And so we really appreciate you uh, giving us uh, these blankets. And we're going to put them to very good use. So thank you. Thank you so much for coming to receive them. There's one back behind you. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, and our quilts just worked so hard on these quilts, and we so appreciate all of them. And here's another one. Just put their own creativity to work at it. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. And here's oh. number five. That's gorgeous. Oh, my. 
Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's really great, you guys. Uh, just to, to kind of give you an idea of how much people enjoy this, is um, you don't really realize it until you give them something and they come back and they're either wearing it or they've got it in their bag and they're carrying it. And um, we notice that when we give them the bag, we put a pillow in there mm -hmm. so that uh, underneath where they have a strap or they have the, the um, drainage, they can have that pillow so that the seat belt doesn't rub on their mm -hmm. skin. Mm -hmm. And just little thoughts like that help a lot. Mm -hmm. And to give the people a large blanket like that, you, you really fills some people's hearts. And we just want to thank you so much. Um, and let us give you a round of applause. Yes. <laughs> thank you very much. Now so have you sold you. out all the tickets for the dinner? No, we have a few left. I, I bought one and I was just thinking maybe some others might want to. It's, it's, all, it's really nice. We have great food. It's at the Scott Center. The parking is good. Yes, right um, across the street from it. And we have uh, two speakers this year. One is, well, we have three actually, because we always have a survivor speaker. And our survivor speaker this year is a young lady that came to one of our events when she was 27 years old and announced to everybody that she was going through diagnosis for breast cancer. And she has since gone through her treatment and is doing very well now. She's a school teacher. And so she's going to be a speaker. And then we have two doctors that are really, I think, <coughs> brilliant. But one is a, a young guy, everybody's young to me now, who <laughs> is, um, he's a surgical oncologist, just works with breast cancer, with not breast cancer, but cancer patients. And he's really good. And then the other, um, Dr. Durden, he is a plastic surgeon that does breast reconstruction for women that have had mammograms. So both of them will be speaking. And I think it will be very good. Yeah. Well, if you want to know more information, just talk to them after the presentation. Okay. Okay. Yeah. After, after the presentation. Okay. Um, at this time, we're going to have Julie and Fanny to come forward. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On Saturdays, we have a class, a long arm quilting class, and we have a special presentation today for several of our members that have completed that class. So, at this time, would you? I have to tell you a little bit about the class first. I can't just get up here and read names, you know. <laughs> um, one of the, you, we were meeting at the Servite Center, which is uh, behind Marion High School. And there are, are 35 retired sisters that live at the Servite Center. And one of them <coughs> loves to quilt. And so when she heard about a long arm machine being there, she got so excited. But the ladies who are in charge of the center were kind of worried about that because she's in a wheelchair. She's not really able to get up and move around very much, and it didn't seem like she was going to be able to use that long arm machine. So they were worried about how this was all going to work, and they warned us ahead of time that this lady, her name's Midge, is kind of grouchy. And so not to be put off by her because she's kind of grouchy. But what we found was her excitement about working on that long arm machine completely overwhelmed 